What is up, fanatics? Today, we are doing something that I've been waiting to do for a long, long time. Now, this is an unboxing, but yes, I think you might know what's in here. What's my favorite thing? Well, home theater. But inside of the home theater genre, I love me some bass. And to make bass, you need subwoofers. And guess what? There's one inside of here. So this guy contains the Harbottle M18X. X stands for it kicks extra butt, I guess. I don't know, maybe. Um, but, uh, but it is a subwoofer and it is 18 inches and it is sealed. Um, and that's exactly what I've been wanting to try out because as you can see, I have a screen, right? And underneath that screen, I have space, but I don't have a lot of space. And in that space, I'd like to put a subwoofer. And up until this point, you know, small, small subs are awesome. You know, this is 12 inch and that thing kicks butt, but I want something really big under there. And, you know, I've had a lot of ported 18s and 21s, but they don't fit. They just, they don't go. I need something a little bit different. That's where this comes in. This is a sealed 18 that's in a quasi DIY situation, right? So this is a, this is designed to be uh, put together. Well, not even put together. I mean, it, it comes like all as one piece. Let me see how we, how we open this up. Holy smokes. All right. So there's a, that's nice. There's the product. And then there's like liner pieces of wood. And uh, if anybody wants to buy this, I'll sell this for $5,000. I know what I've got. This is genuine. This is the real thing. If you want it, you got to pay. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so this is, this is like quasi DIY. I mean, it's already all built. It's not finished, but if I understand correctly, I can take and plug this thing in and just play it right now, which I'm going to do <laughs> for sure. Um, once I figure out the best way to get it out of the box. All right. So let's see. Um, there's something over here. Oh, this must, is that the driver? Oh yeah, that's the driver. Um, and there's padding there. Hopefully everything's intact. Um, I think I can just dump it, flip it and get it out. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do this. Um, uh, the dance in this room because the room's so small. It's not heavy, but it's not light, if that makes sense. I believe Harbottle makes two different models of 18s and one model of a 24, I believe, in this kind of uh, quasi do it yourself. All right, highly recommended to have a lot of space <laughs> when you open this up. All right, out of the box. And the box is like lots of pieces of wood. It's like a jigsaw puzzle in there, but you know, that's, that's nice protection because I think that box would have been punctured otherwise. So the, uh, this extra plywood, I guess, it, it, I think it saved I think I saved the subwoofer. All right, let's flip this over. Um, how do I wanna do it? So let's see. All right, so there's uh, maybe a speak on down there. Oops. Packing is nice and there's a lot of it. Look at this. Oh yeah. It made it all in one piece. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Gorgeous. Oh yeah. Look at this. Look at that cone. 
That's beautiful. I mean, it looks really good. Is this a trim ring or is that part of the sub? I can't tell. All right, let's flip this guy over one more time. The packaging was really good. Um, the only thing I don't like is that there were a couple of areas where the tape is on the wood. And I know it's nitpicky, but now I'll have to figure out how to get the goo off the wood and all that kind of stuff before I uh, stain this, I think. There's no way I'm going to paint this box. No way. Uh-uh. This is stain all the way. That, that That's pretty wood. And if you got wood, you got to show it off. All right, good looking. Let's tilt you up so you can see this 18 inches of glory. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So review is gonna, I'll probably do measurements to this guy first before I finish it. Um, and we'll do a video for that. But uh, I think it might be slightly high for my screen. So I might have to raise my screen an inch, but you know, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if it'll fit at all. Now, don't judge my center channel stand. <laughs> I know, I know. If anybody's got an extra one, feel free to send it my way. Uh. Now, I believe that somewhere in this packaging that I haven't seen that I'll have to go through, there are feet for this as well. So I gotta, I gotta dig that up. Gotta get this glue off. And you know, there's like a label and you know, a tag and all kinds of stuff. And that might be actually coming in a separate box. But today we got the main event at least. Oh no, look. <sighs> That fits. Look at that. Look at that. Can you imagine a world where there are two of them, one here and one over here? Wouldn't that be kind of crazy? Or what about a world where there's one, two, three of them? And you know, I've got a center channel up behind the screen there. Yeah. I can imagine that world. I'm imagining it right now. All right, let's let's uh, let's take a closer look at this sub. That Baltic birch certainly does reflect a lot of light. That's gotta be darkened up. Gosh, look at that. It's kind of hard to see, but man, that is a beautiful subwoofer. All right, so that is the unboxing of the M18X from Harbottle Audio. This thing is a freaking beast. It's sealed and it fits under my screen. It is a minor miracle. I must say so myself. I mean, that's uh, freaking awesome. Uh, so we'll uh, get started on this review setup video. And with that, I'll leave this one with you. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video after you like and subscribe. Thanks, everybody.